So the one who calls himself the axolotl is out of action, under the weather, not feeling too good, and that means I've actually got to do some work today, including the intro, so here we go. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Did I do it right? I think I did. Also, this, this happy, jollity music, it's making my ears bleed. I need some death metal. Well, I guess you can't have everything you want in life, but we have the main thing that I'm after, and that is some profits inside of here. We will see that we've sold a small amount of dirt coins. I've got to be real with you. I wanted to sell more than this, but it is fine because we will be artificially increasing the demand of the dirt coin. Because when this chest sells out, then they have to be purchased at even more expensive prices. So I got some diamonds here. We're going to rip out the dirt coins. And we won't go too overboard here. As you can see, I've left some in there. But there is a little confusion emerging here as the price is the same as all the diamonds around it. And we want the hermits to be able to read this. Let's just sort that out. I don't want any awkwardness in this building. Oh, there we go. Nice and neat. Now, over on this side, uh, what you'll see is that when all the stock has been purchased, as our portable XP bottles here have been very popular and sold out, now we have this one odd dirt coin in the middle. So what I'm going to do is introduce a new type of dirt coin, which is simply just a different color. This is like a, a brass. And so now, with this unique item in the middle, all of this stuff looks so much easier now. You know where your eye will be drawn to, to read, and I think it's a good addition. Now in my hotbar, you've probably also noticed this, which is, my friends, the premium derp coin. Because not only are we going to artificially increase the demand for the derp coin, we're going to add another layer of complexity where some purchases must be made with the premium derp coin. But more on that later, I say, as I walk into here and it feels slightly underwhelming. We need something much more luxurious and lavish. So I've actually got to do some work here because, like I said, the axolotl is sick. So I'm going to do some interior design for this place. So you can probably tell what this is. It's a grand old staircase to lead us up to the second floor because the shop will be split into two floors. The staircase is also kind of dark, which will be changed as well. I like the darkness, but apparently the customers don't. They've been tripping over stones and rocks and things. So we need to make it lit up, and so we'll hang some lights from a ceiling. We're going to take the shape that is over here. It is also hard to see. Okay, now it's a little easier. We're going to take this shape here, extend it across to the top of the staircase, and that'll create the roof that will divide the two floors apart. Yes, yes, that is a very nice sight, isn't it? We're still going to sell the dirt coin in this spot. I might renovate it a little, but now the area around it... What a gorgeous entrance to our shop. That roof is very domineering. I like it. And all of this area is just a way to get to the other parts. So you'll notice that there are these divots up here. And we're going to create some crimson stems that go down to divide the room. We're going to use some lava for lighting. That's always good. And then we're going to use these derp slate tiles around the sides here. Yes, I just said derp slate. I've got derp coin on the mind. I need to make my riches. And the view as you step in. Wow. Perfect. Literally perfect. I love how this has turned out. And now we can make use of this space over here. So on this side, we're going to take the stock that we currently have, expand it a little bit, and just put in some chests. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you something rather important. I have a big head. <laughs> it's uh, a dragon head. This is going to just go in this spot here. And look at that. No surprise, this thing looks seriously cool in this room. And so if we head over to this side, we shall discover that all of the stock has been moved over here with the inclusion of some additional stock as well. And prices have changed and things have been rearranged as I am basically running out of stock here. So to make it look like that's not the case, I've loaded these chests full of dirt coins where we can't fill up all of the slots. I've added some new stuff, changed some prices here and there, and so now it looks like we've got a booming economy where actually you saw how many diamonds we made earlier. I mean, let's just keep that between you and me, yeah? 
And so down here are a few extra chests of new stock as well. I'll open these up so you can see the prices. And what I want to get to next is the thing that you've probably been waiting for, which is the premium derp coin. However, I have heard that a certain someone is back on the server. And uh, I, I guess, speak of the axolotl, yeah, he's here. Well, my friends, here I am. I'm back. I've been under the weather, and as I understand it, a certain someone has been keeping you entertained while I've been away. Yeah, I went on vacation, I got back, I got sick, and I've been drained mentally, physically, and apparently creatively as well, because the, the place that we're standing in right here... I was rather feverish when I put this together and I didn't have a clear vision of what I wanted to do with this tunnel so I actually ended up like throwing a whole bunch of different ideas that I could have gone with like a dripstone cave or something made with calcite and even granite and dirt and and so it just became this weird cave of, of different cave styles I don't know how I feel about it maybe one day I'll change it but in the middle of here Ray is hanging out with us because of course, I wanted to have a little drop-off station for the horse. I kind of want to do that all over the place as we expand the path network, which is what this is about right here. It now extends up into the area we'll be developing shortly. Now, when it comes to connecting these areas together, I have been eyeing up this valley around the side of B-Dub's mountain over here. I don't even know if uh, valley is quite the right term, but it's just this gorgeous little dip between the two hills on either side. And it pops out over here at the Big Eyes Crew. However, I've noticed that there are some clear marker blocks here which would be perfect for a path and go exactly to where I wanted to have a bridge go from this side over to that side, right across this spot. But in the other direction, the trail sort of ends with this river and I can't see any blocks beyond these trees here. But if I make my way to the other side of these trees, we eventually find the path over here. So I think that is the plan for getting us hooked up to the road network. Let's stay away from those two. Uh, together, that might cause an explosion as well. Oh dear. So anyways, under the assumption that this is where our path is going, I am going to get to work here. And while I'm doing that, oh, I love that. Absolutely perfect. <laughs> While I'm doing that, I've got some awesome shenanigans that me and the Hermits got up to together the other day on the server. I really think you're going to enjoy this little highlight reel here. And for context, there is a mine shaft here on the server that is home to about eight or nine cave spider spawners that are all in close proximity of one another. And I invited the Hermits to come over and help me clear this place out without really explaining what they were going to be doing. Y'all are in here. Yes. Y'all are in here indeed. I uh, I see a filthy flyer approaching. Filthy? Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. Take those wings off. <laughs> do you have the helmet? Are you the in the yes club? Wings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the club. Don't make me bust out the, the thing. I'll do it. Oh. Dang. Look at those glasses. <laughs> They're amazing, huh? They literally are. <laughs> There's another variant of this helmet apparently where you can put the glasses up higher like on the helmet portion So they're not covering your eyes. I'll they, probably they, be checking that I out here. I think they fit your eyes well <laughs> it, it makes me look very uh, nerdy. That's how I was able it's... to calculate real real quickly All oh, right, you put that on and you got the numbers. Mm -hmm, awesome. Mm -hmm. Had my awesome. nerd glasses on <laughs> Nerd glasses for the win What I was gonna do Is dig straight down because nothing bad ever happens when you do that. Right, no, obviously, pro Minecrafters dig straight down. Will uh, some water help you? Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Are mine slower? Oh no, I can't. Gotta wait for it to go away. Oh, yeah, uh, the, the more I dig down, yeah, yeah, I'll always outpace longer. it. <laughs> Sorry Thanks, about that. Thanks, Hypno. I wasn't expecting you to dig down that much. <laughs> I'll dig slower. Oh. I'm just thinking There's... about what I can hear, okay? First of all... Cave spiders. Creep yeah, <laughs> creepers bad because they might blow mm -hmm. up things we want to keep. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. There's spawners here. Okay. We should play this super cautious, I think. Right. Uh, when the, when I say this, you say there's spawners, there's like eight or nine, like, not all, not all activated, like, oh, creeper, at the same time. But that, oh, it's getting closer. One day I'll be able to finish my sentence. 
Yeah, Dude, they're like so they're many like, mobs down here. Goodness. There's got to be like four or five that we could activate at the same time for one player. So I, okay. I don't actually have a clue on what we're doing. Are we just like lighting up the cave spider area? Yeah, I, I, I think doing? it'd be really cool to like dig out the area, find out how many of these things there are in close proximity, and see if we can make a farm and maybe make it like a, a two player farm and try and get all eight of these things activated at the same time. Okay. Hex. How'd you Hello. get down there? Okay, I made Just a hole jump. in the ground, which is notoriously that's, safe. That's really helpful. Um, uh, where? I'm ca I can see you, you on the ground. Yeah, you got to go down to the river a little bit more. I mean, okay. wait, Hypno, you're the what? man with the wings. Maybe just like whiz up there. Oh, that you're so close. Stop. Stop. You like, like, look at the ground. You're so close. I'm looking at the ground. It's go back. It's next sand. to the river in the sand. There's lots of sand next to the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, it's so that... close. Stop. Yes! Oh. Hello! Hello! Hi. Jump in. It's safe. It's definitely safe. It's definitely safe. Uh-huh. Okay, this is a dangerous place. I, I, no kidding! Oh, there's another <laughs> yeah. creeper. I think all the mobs might be here as well as the spiders. Well, I can d I'm turning down the spiders because, you know, that seems very safe in this environment. Yeah, you don't want to hear the spiders. No, it's the one that you hear don't the hear that gets that are gonna you. Kill me. Basically, I've oh, been yeah. like, hey, let's go to the most hostile place on the server. Yeah. <laughs> Seems yeah, like a fine. wonderful idea. Remember that time you spawned like 80 oh, netherers at once? Oh, my on. No. Oh, yeah. No. No. Yeah, this, this is giving me that vibe. No, 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 no. I hate these things. Go it's away. fine, Cleo. It's fine. No. No, it's not. No. <laughs> just, just, this, this is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. Oh, I'm going to die. I'm dead. Oh, Hypno RIP. All uh, of my, uh, my good stuff is there. Right, I'm just going to clear out this f this first Ooh, room this and hopefully place. not die. This is a bad The thing bad is, every, place. every place I look has got monsters. This was a I'm great hermit self in hermit. Sense. This is, uh, I mean, I, I feel like this is the opposite of helping hermits. This is definitely harming hermit hermits. Trials. This is Isuma, Isuma entrapping hermits. Yeah. Let's, let's make bucket. a little infinite water pool here. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, not there. There's there's monsters here. <laughs> there's just monsters everywhere. <laughs> it's just everywhere you look, it's just like, that. Oh, no, no, there's a monster. Oh, no, wait, there's, there's, there's a monster. There's a monster. Found a nest. Oh. I've literally yeah, found the nest. Before it lays eggs. <laughs> oh, I, dear Lord. So much Why are there so many of right them? Now? It'll all get a lot easier in a little bit. I'm gonna set up a, a beacon real Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. Oh no, wrong key. Thanks for that. I'm glad this guy's AI sucks. It's always quite unnerving when all you hear before you mute yourself is X going, oh my god. <laughs> Cleo, <laughs> watch out! <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, because I'm not the nerviest person here. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Cleo, I forbid you to die. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, thanks for that. That's great, great advice. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it was. Okay. Isuma, <gasps> I found one of those pits with a bajillion mobs in it. Oh, you, you know how sometimes that's... we find we find those mob pits? So, excuse me, I I, I saw a, a bridge with a spider spawner on it, and then I fell toward that, and then I fell below that, and all the baby spiders started raining down on me from that bridge. <laughs> in the dark and then i start <laughs> running down the ravine and then i just see this pit with like 80 creepers and skeletons and zombies and i noped into a wall i am now penned up in a wall and you thought this was a bad idea this is the best entertainment. i thought this was a terrible idea not oh! gonna lie oh no they're all here everyone's here no this is the worst place this needs to stay and be a place that one can come and contemplate Minecraft, you know? <laughs> the the G Minecraft? Yeah, like this is a this is a shrine. This is a, a place a shrine. of spirituality and, and meditation. Okay. Nothing of value is buried here. Oh no, Joe. You have to come and this see what's This is what not a place of honor. Actually. This is inside of all this terror there is one thing of beauty. Oh my goodness, what happened here? <laughs> GD real. Right, has anybody got like any torches? Because don't place it next to the rail. You can have one torch. Uh, yeah, that 
that's gonna help me in my here i got some oak planks we can turn those into sticks here's that here's that is, they, I can see two more spawners from here. This is so nuts. I've actually lost count. <laughs> yeah, there are quite oh, a few. Oh, hello, little ones. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you just walked in and because <laughs> they stopped going after you. <laughs> after me and they went for you. Excellent. <gasps> no! No, that was going to be clever! <laughs> no! 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 Oh no! I might down one block! I might down one block! So that I could have, be at eye level to like hit the creepers in the knees and I just... There's just this giant lava cavern below me! <laughs> and I was able to ender pearl back out the hole I came through and eat a golden apple. This regeneration beacon saved my life, X. I'm glad we kept it. <sighs> What was the first thing you said there? It was so iconic, like... I thought I was being clever! Yeah, like, no! I thought I was being clever, it's perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone in my chat says, what are they making? Immediately I thought, comedy. <laughs> A mess. And that. Oh. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun and shenanigans hanging out together. And this location, by the way, is really close to where Ifo and Isco are, and I've hooked it up with a nether portal. And so in this space, what we're eventually going to do is create two farms of free spawners that could be run by two players at the same time. And these are all of the spawners. We did have a seventh one over here that sadly uh, got destroyed by accident. And off in the distance, you can see there is an eighth one, but really it's too far away to incorporate. So heading back to the road network, I have created this path. You might notice that it's recessed in the ground a little bit, and that's because I needed to dig up grass blocks for the stony area off in the distance. So if I dig this down and then put the path below it, kind of makes it feel like it's recessed into the ground a little bit, like it's been walked through a lot more, which I like a lot. We've also got a bridge here. The design is all about shape at the moment. I'm going to come back here in a bit and add some details to it so you can get kind of like a, a before and after because the details will really kind of make this feel a little more lively. Anyway, let's hop back on Ray and you can see where the path is going. We've got one other bridge to build and it's going to be a big one, but the path leading there has all been put together as of right now. So our bridge now certainly looks more interesting. I'm just not too sure about the wooden signs on the side here. I tried to mix in a bunch of different textures, but this was the one I liked the most, I guess. Maybe sometimes you just gotta leave it with one dominant texture and you don't always have to mix things up. Oh yeah, and Ray's been hanging out over here on the side patiently. This little trick is so great. We need to make like lots of little drop-off stations. So wherever you want to stop off on the path and, and do a project, you've got a spot to put your horsey. So anyways, somewhere here will extend the path in this direction. Need to get rid of all this fire. <laughs> That's hazardous for this horse. And Evil X has explained to me what's going on over here. We're introducing the premium derp coin. And this means that I, my friends, have got some redstoning to do. Ooh. Oh, this place has been overhauled. I like this. Very, very cozy. And more renovations have come into place as I've had to move the old stand forward in order to introduce something that I forgot to advertise to everyone. Yeah, I need some more eye-catching things over here. Yeah, I've spent a very long time working on this and of the long list of things I've had to do to get this all together, there's always like one little thing. So, redesigned the entrance, lowered things down, you're going to come in here and see this straight away, you're going to be able to read the instructions, and obviously what's going on behind you is going to catch your eye. Now, some of this stuff might change, as currently, we're going to introduce this new currency known as Premium Derp Coin to sell ores, which I've been collecting throughout the season. So, over here we have an extraordinary stock of all the different ores, and I've given them all semi-comical names, and some that just aren't even comical in the slightest, and I've given them all prices. You can see what the price is by the amount of stock. Everything here is going to be sold for one premium derp coin. That's the way the currency works in this space. So when we add more things for premium derp coin in the future, you always spend one at a time to get whatever's in the chest, and then over here we have the rarest of all the ores, it's the Deep Slate. 
spores and I actually have a fair bit more than what's in here so I might double up these chests at some point. And as per Evil X's instructions, the premium derp coin is also a game of luck. So the price is going to be 16 regular derp coins to get yourself a premium, but there's also a chance to then win more of them. And it's all explained in this book. And of course, you can pause and read if you wish to do so. What the hermits will do is come up here, put their coins into the hopper, press the button, and... Ah, we hear sounds. Two, three... Oh, that means that we've won. Uh-huh. Six. Did I think I might have left some in there from a test before. Let's do that again. One. Two. Three. It's free again. I don't know what the exact odds of this are, but basically every time it rolls, you have a 50-50 chance of winning some more. That time we only got two. Let's go down below and check out the redstone. It is all very simple. This is the block that we power with the button. This is the dispenser to give you the premium derp coin. What this also does is activate this dispenser and that gives you a 50-50% chance of creating a signal that goes around to here and then activates that dropper again. It also feeds back into the same dropper here to give you another 50-50% chance. And I'm gonna add a button here just cause like, seeing it in action will really help visualize it. Oh, and then it locked up. Which shouldn't be possible. I tell you what it is, it's probably because this is now powering the hopper as well, and... Yeah, it looks like it kind of locked it. Yeah, I have to power it from this side, which makes it awkward to see. See, that time it didn't roll again. So if it rolls again, you'll see that one activate. Uh-huh, now it rolls again, and again, and again. Oh, quite a few in a, in a row there. Dang, what are the odds of that? It's like 50-50 each time. But with this being Minecraft, you know, I'm pretty sure those randomizers are not quite as random as we'd like them to be. But that's fine. We want the customers to win, and it seems like you do so more than you should, which is good for everyone. So Evil X stocked up this side. We've got the premium derp coin and a whole new bunch of stock over here with more to come in the future. The Evil Emporium is rocking at the moment, and the Hermits are loving it, as far as I understand. Or so, as Evil X has told me. And guess what, my friends? It's the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like. I hope you enjoyed today's one, and I'll see you soon with another one. Bye-bye.